Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matoro and we are here with another video. And like always, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka The Real OG, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Weez G and Z Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Jordan. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for the support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install Lemon UI inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. But, I'm going to change this video a bit, and this video is all about on how to install the most important files for HKH191's mods. So let's get straight into it. So all you gotta do is download Lemon UI, okay, and I will leave this inside my description below. Second mod that you must download and install is Enable All Interiors. I will leave this inside my description below. Make sure you're downloading the latest version. Third, you need is scuttlev.net, of course. Download it and I will leave this inside my description below. The fourth you need is scuttlev. Make sure you download the latest version. Next, you need Heap Limit Adjuster. Make sure you download the latest version. And then lastly, you need Pack File Limit Adjuster. And I'll leave this inside my description below. So let's get started. Now, unfortunately, we are starting this tutorial inside a clean GTA V folder. So go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, as you can see, that this folder is completely new. There's absolutely no mods in here. Now, before you do anything, I always tell everybody this, okay? You must make multiple folders. The first thing that we are going to do is that we need to go and connect our folder to OpenIV. So, open up your OpenIV. Go to your Grand Theft Audio V Windows. Once the application is open, all you got to do is go to your tools, go to ASI manager, now go to your ASI loader, install that, open IV, install that, select yes, then open camera, install that too. Close that, minimize that, and now we have got one mods folder inside the NC. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to install the requirements so the first thing that we are going to install is Squitog V open up your Squitog V extract folder now all you got to do is go into your bin folder and now select your Squitog V.dll and then put 8.dll and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder this application will, will pop up, replace, exit out of your extract folder, open up your skutogv.net extract folder, and then now all you got to do is select all the files except for the text files, and now drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Now next, go to your scuttlev.net.ini file. Double click. And now go over here. Now make sure you, you do change this from insert. And then there you go. Exit, make sure you do save it. And now we are finished with that. Now next, okay, is we're going to install is pack file limit adjuster open up your pack file limit adjuster extract folder 
and then now all you gotta do next okay is select your two files your .ini and .asi and you drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder exit at your extract folder now open up your heap limit adjuster extract folder and now all you gotta do is select your ASI file and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder so now we're going to go back to our Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh our game folder right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts S C R I P T S. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure they are all lowercase. Press enter and press enter again. Now we're going to install our requirements for the scripts folder. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is open up your EAI extract folder, also known as enable all interiors. Then now all you got to do, okay, is open up that folder. And then next, all we're going to do is select all the files and folder and drag it inside our scripts folder. That's all you got to do. Exit out of your extract folder. Now open up your lemon UI extract folder. And now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to install the requirements as well for this one. Open up your SHVDN3 folder. And now all you got to do is select all the files in that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next, go back one and now open up your SHVDN2 folder and now do the same select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder and that's all you got to do exit out of your extract folder and now basically we're done we have installed heap limit adjuster lemon pack file eai scuttle v and scuttle v.net now we're not going to install this because i already did a video about that just recently yesterday so if you want to watch that video i will leave it inside my description below so now we have done that so um the only thing that we are going to do now is install our trainers so the trainers that i always install is simple trainer now trainers are pretty good okay but they are optional they are not required for hk h191 mods but it is pretty good to have trainers okay so if you want to install a simple trainer then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and all you got to do is select your ASI file and your INI file and drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and then exit out of your extract folder and that's all you got to do now it does work with menu i already tried it but i'm just going to skip that for now so basically we're done and now we're going to go in the game to see if it works and we are here in the game and now we are in the game and my game did not crash and yeah so basically we are done the king and as you can see i'm at the casino and um yeah it's pretty cool so my game did not crash and I already enabled my interiors. I, d I don't know why I did it off camera, but um, yeah, I already did it, guys. So I'm very sorry. But um, if you want to enable your interiors, just go to your phone, go to contacts, and now go right down to the bottom to enable interiors, and then go to change and interior, and then now you can change and edit the interiors here. But the most important thing that you must do is go to MISC Options and now change Load MP Maps to True and change Enable Blips to True and this is optional but I always do this change Random Color Blips to True as well back up once, go to Refresh 
being back out again to your game and now on your keyboard press insert and then that's all you gotta do and now we're basically finished and now you can go inside buildings and um, and play with your mods so that's how you guys install the most important files for HK8191 and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod that mod is an awesome mod okay but like always okay guys if you do get stuck installing this mod then make sure you guys do comment below and let me know and if you guys do get stuck installing any mods then comment below and let me know now before I do go okay guys uh, I just want to let you guys know that the most important thing okay with Lemon UI is that you need to actually install it inside your scripts folder now don't install it inside your uh, main folder okay guys so make sure you you do install it inside your scripts folder so with that said if you guys do like this video or if it was helpful please smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and i will see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out